What up everyone, this is Ace, and today I'll show you how to get a free golden ticket player in Madden 20 Ultimate Team. So I have a convention to make. I I think my second ever video on my channel was about how I uh, said goodbye to Mutt forever uh, and joined uh, and decided to do uh, Madden regs full time. And <laughs> now you see me coming back to Madden Ultimate Team because frankly not only is Madden Ultimate Team the uh, the cash cow of EA Sports of Madden uh, in general but it's also where a lot of people are spending their time within Madden 20 so that's why I wanted to uh, make a return to Madden 20 and you see me uh, inside of the Madden 20 screen and I'll be showing you guys today how to get your free golden ticket player so you see all of these guys uh, going out and spending money on getting uh, some of the best golden ticket players in the game and I think at one point there are 24 golden ticket players that you could choose from. So I'm showing you the no money spent method of getting a golden ticket player and that's essentially by going into challenges, going to the fan appreciation challenges and grinding through all of the uh, solo challenges uh, under fan appreciation and they're basically under three pages. Just like video game facts and then there are two other things, two other pages that you have to complete. But there are about like 50 challenges uh, or 50 stars that you can possibly get in each one. And since you can get a maximum of 5 stars per challenge, then it's basically 10 challenges per page. So it's definitely uh, doable. My suggestion is right off the bat, anytime you have a challenge like this first one or the second one I should say, I basically talk right through the first one. But the second challenge is rushing for 50 plus yards. So there are a couple of plays that you can use for that. And But the best and the most recommended play is to, by now everyone has like a 98 or 99 overall running back. So use that running back and run stretch. Run stretch to the left or right to maximize uh, your chances of getting a big run every time you use HP stretch. Just motion your... Uh, your uh, right side tight end and your strong side tight end to the left side hopefully you should have at least two tight ends in the, whatever formation you're using for stretch but I generally use uh, single back ace close as you've seen in previous videos that's my go-to formation anytime I want to run stretch so I go to single back ace close and I run HP stretch to the left or right depending on where my blockers are all set up and ready to go and if you have a passing challenge like this one for example if you have to get like passing touchdowns or you have to complete uh, however many passes per drive then uh, my go-to formation and play is uh, gun bunch uh, and verticals four verticals or pats verticals depending on what playbook you have and just uh, go to your number one receiver and pick up big yardage so I happen to have Randy Moss as my number one receiver on my Madden Ultimate team on my Mutt team so that's why he uh, lights up his superstar X Factor which is Moss lights up and that allows me to just throw a huge 55 plus yard uh, pass to him on the very first play and then after that I can just go to any of my other receivers depending on their coverage once again the formation is gun bunch and the exact play is verticals which you can find in virtually any playbook out there so you saw me pick up my third win here so uh, prior to starting uh, these fan appreciation or actually starting to record my fan appreciation challenges I had already completed two challenges and I got five stars in each of them so it's basically I had already two completed so I had to just complete eight more challenges and get uh, five uh, four or more stars in each of them to complete that page of challenges and then I can move on to the second and third pages and then by the end of it uh, by uh, completing and I think I just have to complete maybe like uh, three or four challenges on the third page and then uh, at the end of the day I should have 120 stars to my name and once I have 120 stars that grants me a free golden ticket player and there are a lot of nice golden ticket players to choose from and we'll go over uh, some of the possible choices uh, near the end of this video but you know when I recorded this video this was actually like an hour and 41 minutes uh, and it took a little longer than I thought it would take because you know uh, I decided to take some breaks in between I think I took a lunch break while I was recording the videos too hey playing Madden makes you hungry so I took a break in between but 
I, I drastically sh uh, shortened this video so you're gonna see a respectable uh, length for the video by the time you see this uh, posted up on YouTube uh, so this is I think uh, this is the challenge that requires you to get some passing touchdowns here so you saw that I completed this challenge and I was able to get five stars so I rushed for 20 plus yards and got a passing touchdown so now the next challenge is to score a passing touchdown and score a rushing touchdown while also winning the game so you're just seeing the highlights so it definitely is not as short you uh, they give you sometimes these games that start off in the third quarter and you have to essentially uh, just uh, limit your uh, opponent to no yards or no points ideally no points and then you can go ahead and just uh, use gun bunch pads verticals or HB stretch out of whatever single back formation you have in your playbook and pick up huge rushing yards and passing yards and once again you see HB stretch right there uh, put on some stick work again this is against the computer AI so this should be a no-brainer you guys should very easily be able to complete these challenges safety yep safety so you want to make sure you also get your defense in the scoring party as well so defense is able to pick up two points on this guy and then this is gun bunch uh, pats verticals and I'm able to dump it off to my uh, running back who's running a drag and he's able to get it into the end zone so by, at this point I already have a passing touchdown and a rushing touchdown so this will ensure that I get a maximum of five stars for this challenge so if you just complete the basic requirement which is win the game you get three stars but if you get the additional bonuses then you can get up to five stars and that's a max and you want to be shooting for five stars and make sure that you complete all of these challenges on the hard difficulty setting and that will allow you to get a max of five so that way you'll be doing fewer challenges instead of doing all of the challenges that are that they have for fan appreciation and this is a very nice uh, initiative by Madden because it allows you to get the uh, golden ticket player uh, free and the only the only investment that you're making is a uh, time on your side and you're also getting in some challenges you're getting to lab some plays against uh, against the computer AI now the computer AI is not very smart in these solo challenges it's a bit more challenging when you're using uh, solo battles when you're playing the solo battle uh, battles and incidentally I'm gonna be doing some solo battles uh, this week too so I think my next video I'm gonna be showing you guys how to score the maximum number of points in solo battles so stay tuned for that so uh, I don't know if I'm gonna do too many of these solo challenges one because now as you've noticed um, uh, Madden 20 is winding down Madden 21 is gonna be coming out next month the 25th of August so mark that on your calendars so that's why I think the last set of solo challenges was all around the rookie premiere and I'm actually kind of late do these fan appreciation challenges because of course for the past month I was uh, grinding regs uh, online head to head so that's why I didn't even get a chance to get to this fan appreciation challenge uh, until this weekend so there you have it uh, that is another challenge that I have down and I was able to pick up five stars there is all this was just a rushing challenge so once again for rushing challenges you just want to go to HB stretch out of, out of your single back formation and for passing oriented challenges go to gun bunch and verticals and then any defensive related challenges and this looks like one of those do not allow more than 40 yards this drive is the goal for this challenge you want to just be blitzing the computer AI or the computer every single time and of course as I covered in uh, the video which was entitled bury your opponent with the deadliest blitz in the game that is uh, referring to my cover 4 drop show 2 blitz out of the 3-4 odd formation so I don't like to roll out uh, nickel or dollar or dime formations just because they're more defensive back so that's kind of like a smaller lineup that I have on the field for my defense so that will allow me to easily get bulldozed over by opposing running backs so I completed the first page I believe so I completed the first page and that gave me an 87 overall uh, theme builder too and I already, I mean, I don't really need any of these 87 ranked players. So I'm just going to pick up a player that I already have, Jake Bailey. And I'm going to sell him and get training points instead. So I got about like uh, a decent chunk of training points. And you can see I'm, I have like 14,565 training points. So in case I need to power up some of my other guys, 
I have enough uh, training points, I think, at this point to do some power-ups. And you're going to see the golden ticket play that I end up choosing. I'm going to eventually opt to get his power-up player just so that I, uh, just so I can add him to my uh, theme team. That's some nice stick work there on the HP stretch run. And you should always be able to hit the computer, the AI up with the, uh, with the stick work. That should be very easy. So that was a 75 plus yard rush. But anyway, for the defensive oriented challenges, as I was talking about, you want to be blitzing the AI every single down. So even if he comes out in single back or I form, you want to be blitzing him and you want to blow up those runs in the backfield. And you're going to be able to do that relatively easily in these solo challenges. I would not recommend blitzing the AI uh, every down uh, inside of solo battles. Maybe just blitz the AI when they're in a shotgun, for example, and just go with your standard uh, uh, tamp with two, your, uh, your other cover four play without blitzing uh, whenever the, uh, the AI is on uh, coming out of single back or I form inside of solo battles. But in these solo challenges, you saw that? That blitz directly led to a sack fumble and allowed me to recover the ball and get in position to score again using my Pat's vertical play out of gun bunch. So to set up the cover four drop show two blitz, what you want to do is you want to pinch your linebackers in, or pinch your D-line in first, slant him inside, then pinch your linebackers inside and uh, blitz all linebackers. You don't necessarily have to press coverage. If you want, you can press the coverage and user your safety. but. For the computer AI, it's easier for me uh, and much easier to kind of you know manipulate on the uh, controller if I just go ahead and pinch my D-line in, slant my D-lineman inside, pinch my linebackers, blitz all my linebackers, and that's almost a guaranteed sack or uh, incomplete pass uh, you can force on the AI anytime you come out with the cover to uh, cover four drop show two blitz and allows you to whiz past these challenges very quickly so you see a deep fast moss as I had talked about earlier moss is gonna light up with his moss uh, x-factor ability so it's a no-brainer to go to moss on the first play anytime you see him lighting up just go to uh, pass verticals out of gun bunch and just toss it up to Randy Moss and he's gonna be able to uh, just annihilate his uh, nearest defender on that uh, street route. So this is one of those uh, half game solos where you have to either win the game or you have to pick up a certain amount of uh, rushing yards or passing yards. So you see me do that here. You see me whip out this HP stretch run out of single back ace close. Wasn't able to get the touchdown there but still able to get decent yardage on that run. So there you have it very easy and another thing I wanted to talk to you guys uh, while I have you guys on this uh, video is that every time I've played Madden Ultimate Team it's all I've always built no money spent or uh, NMS teams and NMS teams are basically teams where I have not spent any money literally the name says it all no money spent I don't like to be using my credit card and, uh, and uh, going the whole microtransaction route I want to be you know, just grinding solos and solo battles and house rules and weekend league to uh, get all my coins and my uh, training points that I can then use to buy players from the auction house using virtual coins, not actual coins. And of course, training points to power up my, uh, my power up players for my theme teams. So that's why I, when I saw that there is an option available to uh, get a free golden ticket player. I mean, I jumped at it. I was like, I'm not going to spend any money on this. I'm not going to be uh, using a credit card to get multiple, uh, I mean, uh, golden ticket players. Uh, what I decided to do was just grind out these fan appreciation challenges. And as you can see, they really don't take a lot of time to complete. I mean, if you just go with a couple of tried and tested plays, like Pat's verticals, like HP stretch, like the cover four drop show two blitz. Uh, anytime you're on defense, you can you're able to wrap up these challenges in within an hour. And I know 120 stars seems uh, very daunting, but it's very doable. And I did it, and I did it after playing like a month of uh, Madden rigs. So it was you know it was just like easy. I mean it's, it was like that easy button you know. I just 
I'm just pounding away on that easy button on every challenge. So, everyone should be able to knock out these challenges relatively quickly if you haven't done so already. I think most of you guys who play Madden Ultimate Team regularly and consistently have probably already done these challenges when they came out like a month or so ago. But I'm just now getting to these, so I wanted to knock these out and get this on, uh, on camera as well. So you guys, uh, for those of you guys who haven't completed these challenges, can use these strategies to complete these challenges very quickly. So once again, fan appreciation, and you want to make sure that you're on the hard difficulty, which is basically nothing. Uh, man, imagine doing these challenges on the easy difficulty, man. They'll be racking up 100 yards, uh, 100 points uh, every quarter. I mean, it'll be absolutely insane. So this is uh, another one of the challenges where you have to score a uh, passing touchdown. So once again, if it's a passing touchdown challenge, you want to go to uh, Gun Bunch, Pats Vertical. Uh, again, this guy was in some sort of cover 2, cover 6 coverage. So I just went with my receiver on the uh, crossing route over the middle. Once again, anytime you have a cover 2 or a uh, cover 6, a cover 6 is a combination of a cover 2 and a cover 4. So you're going to have one cornerback that's going to be in cover 4 and another cornerback that will be playing cover 2. And of course you're going to have the two high safeties uh, back deep. So it's going to be the, uh, the same uh, uh, plays that you can use to beat cover 2 you'd use against cover 6. So I was able to pick up 4 I think stars there instead of 5 and that's okay. Some of these challenges you're just going to get 4 stars instead of 5. So don't beat yourself up on that too much. Uh, as long as you get at least 4 stars you should be able to wrap these challenges really quickly. So you see me uh, dump, uh, okay so I'm on defense here. Yeah because I wouldn't go to Ben Watson there. Ben Watson is not one of my tight ends. I think at tight end I have uh, Rob Gronkowski and LG Crumpler. I don't know who I have as my third uh, tight end. I think that's also a Patriots player because I went with basically all Patriots players on my theme team. The only non-Patriots players I have are like Pat Tillman at Strong Safety or uh, or my D tackles like Mean Joe Green for example. Is a, and Chris Jones I think I also have that D tackle. And that's because the Patriots don't have a lot of like good options at strong safety and at defensive tackle uh, but they're really stacked uh, at other positions like of course quarterback uh, wide receiver a running back they're okay they are, their offensive line is pretty good even though I mean I would love to see some more upgrades they have so many left tackles they have uh, or left guards I should say they have Tooney at left guard they have Mankins at left guard they even have that guy uh, uh, I think Ryan Walters at uh, left guard. Even though when he was on the Patriots, he was at right guard, but they have him at left guard in this game. But I'm basically playing him at right guard. And I have Tooney playing at uh, left guard, and I have uh, Logan Mankins playing at left tackle. So that's how I managed my uh, Patriots theme team. And this was prior to uh, prior to making the shift to Man Regs. Now. For those of you guys who are enjoying my Madden Rex content, don't be concerned that I'm switching to Madden Ultimate Team full time. No, Madden Ultimate Team will be just one of uh, one of of a few video series that I'm going to have featured on my channel. So I'll have a playlist just for Madden Ultimate Team. This will be the first video that will be going into that playlist, and then I'll have. Uh, a playlist just for Madden regs. So I, I've already taken the liberty of taking out the uh, Chiefs, Packers, and Patriots gameplay videos and have posted them into a separate, all encompassing playlist, which is called Madden Ultimate uh, Madden Online Head to Head. So I already have that set up for you guys, so make sure you check it out. And definitely, uh, when you guys get a chance, peruse my channel let me know what you guys think of my channel and if you have any other like nuggets of, uh, and feedback for me to use to improve my channel let me know in the comments below so I think I wrapped up the second page that's why you see me getting this uh, another theme builder overall the uh, theme builder pack there so I got another player that I already have on my team which is a Landon Roberts and I just sold him for some training points and Incidentally, that was my 50th uh, solo challenge that I completed uh, when this team captain 
set a kind of initiative came out. So that's why I was able to use a theme captain uh, card and power and advance my Thai law card to the next level. So now I, I have him at like a 98, but with the uh, Patriot theme chemistries, I have him uh, basically working as a 99 overall card. So you're not going to see the last set of challenges that I completed under this fan appreciation challenges. Uh, but what I did was I, uh, after I completed my last, I think three or four challenges, which I wasn't able to get on camera, I went ahead and selected Cam Newton as my golden ticket player. And that's because Cam Newton is now going to be the starting quarterback for the New England Patriots. So that's why I went with Cam Newton and he is going to be starting for my Patriots team team. Sorry, Tom Brady, I'm gonna let you warm up the bench for me because I'm gonna need a mobile quarterback, especially if I decide to play weekend league this year. So there you have it, that is how you get a uh, free golden ticket player. Uh, my free golden ticket player was Cam Newton and you see me actually searching for his power up item. So I'm gonna actually just add this golden ticket player to the power up uh, item or the power up card and that's so I can have Cam Newton uh, officially registered as a Patriots player on my Patriots theme team. So hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. Hopefully you guys were able to uh, use some of the plays uh, for the solo ch challenges so that you guys can very quickly uh, rack up stars and get your free golden ticket player if you haven't done so already. Stay tuned for more Ultimate Team videos. This is first of many Ultimate Team videos so get excited. And uh, until next time, this is Ace. Have a great week. Talk to you guys soon. Peace. Thanks for watching. Drop a like, and if you're new here, make sure to subscribe to the channel and turn on the bell icon to get notified as soon as I post a new video. Until next time, this is Ace, signing out. Peace.